What's up guys, Dan here for bladereviews.com, back again with another knife review. This time around, I'm going to be taking a look at the Famars Llama, a very interesting offering from a company that you may not already be familiar with. Uh, Famars has only recently begun manufacturing cutlery. If uh, you are a fan of high-end shotguns, you've probably already heard of them. They're the world's largest manufacturer of high-end shotguns. And by high-end, I mean very high-end. We're talking $25,000 for a single shotgun. And that's just the starting point. Some of their guns have been known to sell for upwards of a quarter million dollars a piece. Very, very fancy stuff. All handmade in Italy. Uh, and they all feature this beautiful hand engraving, sometimes with gold leaf applied to the engraving and various uh, stones, diamonds, rubies, precious and semi-precious stones and just wonderful functional works of art. Worth checking out if you haven't already. Uh, but Famars, interestingly enough, has begun to manufacture cutlery, folding pocket knives to complement their line of high-end shotguns. And the, the knives are born of the same philosophy as their guns, handmade in Italy, featuring some of the finest materials and uh, beautiful Italian craftsmanship. And not only are they designed to be uh, quite visually appealing, they are also designed to be fully functional knives to accompany their shotguns on hunting trips. That's what the guns are, are primarily used for, if I understand correctly. They're used for hunting quail and pheasant and duck, and the, the knives are, are primarily designed for uh, cleaning them and, and accompanying the owner on hunting trips. But let's face it, the Famars Llama, what you see here, the kind of um, flagship model in the Famars lineup would also make a very capable gentleman's holder or upscale EDC. Now the uh, Llama is an automatic knife, in fact it is dubbed the world's first dual action pinless automatic knife and what that means exactly well we'll get into that as the review progresses. First off I want to show you the boxes that the knife comes with not something I typically do but this is not your typical knife. Uh, first off you get this nice outer box with this sort of gold embossed uh, logo and then you also get this inner box which is made of bamboo really attractive it says prima edizione here because that is uh, what this knife is it's first edition in Italian and this is the first edition of the knife each knife comes serialized and it's um, you know individually serialized with its own certificate of authenticity it's kind of like getting a custom knife because you're, you're able to hand select all the details of the knife, all the options, and there are tons of options as we'll, we'll get into. But this box here, it says Prima Edizione, made in Italy, and you've got a magnetic clasp there holding the, the box closed, and inside you've got this black uh, velvet lining, great place to store your knife, and uh, functions as a nice display case as well. So, very cool, not something you typically see, but let's take a look at the knife itself. Now, for some quick specs, what we have here is an overall length of seven and three quarter inches. You've got a uh, five and a half inch long knife here if you just have one of the blades open. And speaking of blades, here we have two two and a half inch blades and the weight on this knife, it's gonna be between two to three ounces depending on the materials and options that you select. So let's take a closer look here at the, the blades on this knife. You've got twin high carbon, high contrast, Damascus blades here, very nice, beautiful, beautiful blades, and like I said, uh, you know, you get two of them here, of course, and the, the blade shape is a clip point on this particular knife, but you have your option of whatever you want. They've got tanto blades, they've got partially serrated blades, they even have tools that you can uh, substitute a blade for, say if you want a magnifying glass or a pair of scissors or a, even a golf divot uh, tool. Famars will install that for you. It's really, it's whatever you want. Uh, choice of steel also has a ton of options. You've got various types of Damascus, but you've also got, uh, you know, your choice of stainless steels as well. Custom made, whatever you want, and any kind of tools you want. Very, very cool. So, uh, lots of options to choose from. The blades themselves in this knife have been uh, very functional, and they came extremely sharp from the factory. Nice, very nice tip on the, the clip point blades here, and for my kind of EDC, I haven't carried this particularly hard, but 
you know, for various tasks uh, around the house and such, the uh, llama has been performing quite well. So that's also, that's nice to see. Let's talk a little bit about the handle, which is arguably the heart and soul of the llama here. Uh, it's where it gets that pinless designation. Uh, as I said before, world's first dual action pinless automatic knife. And what we mean by pinless is you'll see there's no screws or pins holding the handle together. So that is what they mean by pinless. And it creates just an elegant and minimalist approach to the handle. Really nice. And it also makes for a beautiful canvas for the Fomar's engraving and other kind of detailing that they are known for doing. So if you want to get a knife to match your gun with the same sort of elaborate scroll work or perhaps some sort of pastoral or hunting scene hand engraved on the body of the knife, well, that is definitely possible if you're willing to pay for it. And that's kind of what the, uh, the llama is all about here. It's a great canvas for that, that tooling that they do. Um, this particular handle is made of stainless steel. For Mars offers it in aluminum and titanium as well. I've got the plain black, matte black finished one. They offer it in various colors and also various inlays are available for the knife. Exotic wood, uh, all sorts of um, redwood, coca bolo, anything you can imagine. Anything you can imagine they'll insert in here. And also various animal skins as well if you're you know, into that perhaps. Uh, some sort of snake skin or something along those lines. But let's talk a little bit about the more functional aspects of the handle, the ergonomics, something that I'm always interested in. And you can see here, it's kind of a, a thick little knife. They do offer a thinner version, the Piccolo, but the, the Fumar's Llama is a thicker knife and I find that to be very nice. Uh, definitely can get all four fingers on here, my, all my fat fingers and a spot for your thumb as well. So it makes for something that is functional in hand. It's not an aggressively uh, textured knife. There's no jimping or anything like that. So, you know, this isn't a, a tactical knife or a combat knife or anything like that. But for EDC, quite nice. Certainly the kind of knife that would slip into a suit pocket very easily. And ergonomically speaking, it's functional for your daily tasks. Can't say what it's like to skin a quail or clean a quail with this uh, knife. I haven't done that. But for, like I said, more pedestrian tasks, it certainly is up to the challenge. Let's talk a little bit about the deployment and lockup on the Llama. What we have here, uh, twin automatic blades, and they're accessible by pushing either of these buttons. Very fast, very cool. You know, tw twin blades at your disposal, the push of a button. Not something you typically see, and it's got a lot of uh, novelty to it, but also genuine, you know, it's uh, something that I'm quite addicted to. You, you pick the knife up and it's hard to put it down because it is uh, such a joy to open and close the blades like that. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So lockup is good. There's no blade play or anything like that. Um, it's also interesting to note that there are no washers in this knife, no Foster bronze, no Teflon washers. It is precisely machined so it doesn't require any washers and as far as smoothness and such goes, well it's certainly fast enough and uh, they've done a good job putting this together, so very cool. Well, that pretty much goes through the entire knife, at least all the features and options that I want to talk about. It is an expensive knife, and I do have mine on loan, but uh, I have to say, you know, very interesting. I could definitely see the appeal if you've got a Fumar shotgun, or if you're the kind of person who is a collector of automatic knives, or sort of exotic and, and unique knives. There's nothing else out there like the Llama, and uh, on that alone, I have to give the, uh, the, the knife a nod, you know, just for being innovative and, and different. Of course, the, the pedigree of Italian craftsmanship and the, the sky's the limit kind of options and feature set is uh, intriguing as well. If you've got the pocketbook to support that kind of uh, knife habit, <laughs> and I don't suspect we all do, but for those who do, you know, I'm sure it's certainly worth the, the price of admission. A very, very interesting offering. All right, guys, that's the review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Dan for bladereviews.com. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions. I enjoy hearing your feedback and want to thank you again for watching the video. Take care.